Another in the series of chemistry tutorials. chemistryinfo.co.uk Topic 1 Ionic and covalent bonds An ion is an atom or molecule that has gained or lost an electron. Metal atoms lose electrons to form a positive ion or a cation. Non-metal atoms gain electrons to form negative ions or anions. And an ionic bond forms when there has been a complete transfer of electrons. Here is a dot and cross diagram for sodium and chlorine showing all the electrons in all the shells. A single electron transfers from the sodium to the chlorine forming two ions. Ionic compounds often use the terms "-ied", and "-ate". The suffix "-ied", is used with modern metal ions, such as chloride, oxide, fluoride. The suffix "-ate", is used with polyatomic ions, that's where there's more than one oxygen atom, for example, nitrate, carbonate, sulphate ions. You are supposed to be able to recall the first 20 elements of the periodic table and the ionic compounds form from elements in group 1, 2, 6 and 7. You should be able to deduce the formula of other ionic compounds including hydroxides, nitrates, carbonates and sulphates. So looking just at groups 1, 2, 6 and 7. Group 1 elements, with their single outer shell electron, form 1 plus positive ions. Group 2, 2 plus. Group 6, 2 minus. Group 7, 1 minus. But there are a number of other endings you need to know. CO3, 2 minus. SO4, 2 minus. OH minus and NO3 minus. If you know the number of electrons lost or gained by each atom, it is possible to work out the formula of the resulting ionic compound. A single sodium plus ion will combine with a single bromide minus ion to form sodium bromide, NaBr. In the end, the number of electrons lost and gained have to balance out. Here are some simple examples. Hydrogen plus hydroxide gives HOH, or water. Hydrogen plus NO3 minus gives HNO3. Magnesium plus OH minus requires two OHs to give MgOH2. Magnesium plus oxygen, MgO. And finally, hydrogen plus oxygen, you need to double the number of hydrogens for H2O. These ions form large ionic compounds with a lattice structure. Ions are arranged in a regular pattern. There are strong electrostatic forces between opposite charges that hold them together. And these forces are the ionic bonds. This is sodium chloride or table salt, and it is an example of an ionic compound. Covalent bonds, on the other hand, are formed when pairs of electrons are shared between atoms. You should be able to draw dot and cross diagrams to show hydrogen, oxygen, water, hydrogen chloride, methane and carbon dioxide, all of which are examples of simple molecular substances. And here we have representations of these simple molecular substances, starting with hydrogen, H2, one electron shared from each of the atoms. Oxygen, O2, two pairs of electrons, a double bond. H2O or water. HCl, hydrogen chloride. 
CH4, methane, CO2, carbon dioxide. We'll look more into the properties of covalent and ionic compounds in another video. And that's it. Thank you for watching.